sepsis, antisepsis. My beloved, today we've got question of your exam, surgery exam. Asepsis and antisepsis, actually fundamental concepts uh, for surgery. Not only surgery, of course, but because this is question you find in your examination tickets of surgery, surgical issue. Okay, let's go. So take your pens, papers, and let's go. Uh, papers and pens you need for making the memory, memorizing. Huh? So in the field of surgery and healthcare, preventing infections is one of the most critical priorities. Asepsis and antisepsis are two key strategies used to reduce the risks of infections, especially during invasive procedures such as surgery. So, asepsis. Asepsis refers to the practices that aim to keep a sterile environment free for all microorganisms, pathogenic, non-pathogenic, thereby preventing infection in patients. It's primarily used in the operation room and during procedures that involve the skin, sterile, sterile equipment, or, or, or internal body parts. So, principle of asepsis, sterile field, as the designated area that is kept free of microorganisms. These include surgical instruments, drapes, and sterile gloves. Sterilization, the clean, complete elimination of all microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and spores from instruments and surfaces. Sterilization methods include autoclaving, that is using steam, chemical sterilization, and radiation. Asepsis technique, a set of specific practices that healthcare professionals, means you, follow to maintain sterility, including hand wash and surgical scrubbing, wearing sterile gloves, gowns, and masks, using sterile instruments, maintaining a sterile feel throughout the procedure. What are key components of aseptic technique? Hand hygiene, proper washing of hands and forearms using antiseptic solutions or alcohol-based hand wraps before any procedure. Sterilization of instruments and equipment ensuring that surgical instruments, drapes, and other equipments are sterile. Personal protective equipment, PPE, wearing sterile gowns, gloves, masks, and eye protection. Okay, if you want to pronounce sterile, then no, no big question. I, of course, more correct is not sterile, but sterile. So, wearing sterile gowns, gloves, masks, and eye protection. Sterile, let it be sterile, sterile field, creating and maintaining a sterile area around the patient, ensuring that only sterilized equipment or sterilized, sterilized equipment and personal touch the sterile field. So it's very important, this technique. So no surgeons, especially nurses, know it very well. So no touch technique, avoid direct contact with non-sterile objects or surfaces during the procedure. Uh, so who are the applicants of asepsis? Surgical asepsis, ensuring that surgical area and all instruments are sterile to prevent post-operative intervention, post-operative, oh, sorry, infections. Ensuring that surgical area and all instruments are sterile to prevent post-operative infections. Invasive procedures such as catheterization, intravenous insertions, and wound dressing changes. Handling of sterile med medical devices such as urinary catheters, very important. Urinary catheter, very, very important. Then uh, central lines and endotracheal tubes. Okay, so if you, if you find these questions, applicants of asepsis, surgical sepsis, invasive procedures, procedures, and handling of sterile medical devices. So, what about antisepsis? So, antisepsis involves the application of chemical agents, antiseptics, 
to living tissues, for example, skin, to destroy and inhibit the growth of microorganisms. So the primary goal is to reduce the number of pathogens and prevent infection, particularly during minor surgeons or wound care. What are principles of antisepsis? Antiseptic agents, chemical apply, chemicals applied to the skin or mucous membranes to prevent infections by reducing the microbial load. Target. Antisepsis doesn't achieve sterility, complete elimination of all my, uh, micro, uh, microorganisms, but reduce the microbial count to a level that is considered safe. Common antisepsis, antiseptic solutions, alcohol, so it means eto, eto, eh, no, ethanol, isopropyl alcohol, effective against a broad range of bacteria and viruses, used for, um, for hand disinfection and skin preparation before injections. Chlor chlorhexidine, chlorhexidine. So this chlorhexidine is a powerful antiseptic used in skin disinfection before surgery or invasive procedures. Povidone iodine, and as antiseptic with a broad spectrum of activity, often used for preoperative skin preparation. Hydrogen peroxide, primarily used for wound cleaning. Hydrogen peroxide. So, my beloved, we, we have to need the key applicants, uh, key applications of antisepsis. Uh, Preoperative skin preparation, applying antiseptic solution, or solutions to the surgical site before making an incision to reduce the microbial load. Wound care, cleaning and dis disinfecting open wounds, cuts and abrasions with antiseptic, antiseptics to prevent infection. Hand antisepsis, healthcare workers apply antiseptic hand wraps to reduce the bacterial load before and after patient contact or performing procedures. So if you have, now I see the question, the differences between asepsis and antisepsis. Okay, let's stop on this topic. Definition, asepsis, methods to prevent contamination from microorganisms, sterility, antisepsis, use of chemical agents to reduce microorganisms on living tissues, goal to create a sterile environment, a sterile environment free of all microorganisms, antisepsis, goal to reduce microbial count to prevent infection, target area, Inanimate objects instrument, inanimate objects instrument and sterile fields in the sepsis, target area in antisepsis, living tissues, skin, mucous membranes. Methods, sterilization, aseptic technique and surgical scrubbing. In antisepsis, application of antiseptic agents, for example, alcohol, iodine. Okay, so target area, our er, target area in asepsis sterilization, aseptic technique, and surgical scrubbing, antisepsis application of antiseptic agents, for example, alcohol, iodine. Common examples: asepsis, autoclaving, sterile drapes, uh, sterile gloves, no-touch technique. In antisepsis, hand antisepsis, preoperative skin disinfection. So surgical asepsis versus medical asepsis, because it's a surgeon question, huh? Surgical asepsis, sterile technique, involves maintaining an environment completely free of microorganism as used in surgeries. Medical uh, asepsis, so-called clean techniques, aims to reduce the number of microorganism, microorganisms and prevent their spread, such as routine clinical practice, practices like cleaning, dressing, or taking blood. So, complications of inadequate asepsis and antisepsis. It's obvious, failure to follow proper uh, aseptic or antiseptic techniques can lead to post-operative infections due to contamination during surgery, sepsis, a life-threatening condition caused by the body's response to infection, 
Nosocomial infections, hospital acquired infections, such as urinary tract infections, surgical site infections, or ventil ventilator associated pneumonia. Uh, 